Welcome to a new concept arts master's tutorial. Sorry I've been away for a long time, but I finally got time to create something new for you guys. And this time is two different brushes that are good for creating rocks and uh, mountains. For example, there you go. One is mountainous region in the distance or islands. And another one will be rocks up close. And of course, this rock has also the stamp, stamp brush, which I will create in the next video. So how you create this one is you go to the lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool, and you will create a triangle shape. Then use the black color. You can either paint it in or use the bucket to color it in color it in and when while still selected go to edit define brush preset and name it whatever you like once you have the brush you will find it this is mine and let's check out the settings. You will use this to open and you will see that texture. I chose this one right here is rocks. Scale is 96, brightness minus 60, contrast 76, texture is chip tip. You choose subtract because um, see multiply, darken, color dodge and I found that uh, subtract works best because it subtracts the uh, these uh, texture areas 100% depth depth jitter 12 transfer fan pressure 70 opacity jitter 76 minimum 57 now He's probably gonna have to be different from mine because uh, we all have different, you know, pressure sensitivities and preferences that we like. Brush pose, tilt X is minus 76, tilt Y is minus 89, rotation 94 degrees, override rotation, pressure 46, override pressure. And see, I'm painting shape dynamics. Let's see the shape dynamics. Yeah, you should include shape dynamics. I don't know why my is not saved because it works. It, sh it helps you, you know, create smaller islands that are in distance and like larger here rocks, rock formations. Second one would be you just take the regular hard brush. You go here to shape dynamics. The first one actually spacing um, right here. You will make it more as narrow as much as you can, or like turn it at an angle that works for you. Let's see, no spacing. Okay, shape dynamics. Something is not right here. I don't like that line that it gets. Okay, this is a brush pose. Then use the brush pose. Texture would be the same. You see these right here. Work them according to your preference. Um, what else? Shape dynamics, size jitter. So you can now start painting rocks. This works really good on the edges if you want to do edges on the islands as well. For example, Choose this one right here. It's a lot better to make it smaller and then 
See, like smaller addition, smaller edges. Now you don't have to use the same texture as I did. You don't even have to use the texture at all. You can, you know, create whatever you like. Use different textures. So this one is a lot better. Like this. So even when you're painting um, on a rock, you want to do those details. You, you can do them. And then see, do the lines. Contrast is not good here because it's too much, but get the point. See, now the brush is smaller, uh, you would have to go to textures and uh, decrease, maybe or increase. Let's see. Yeah, see, so you, you play around. To give you more texture when you're painting something smaller. So of course it's not a painting tutorial, but it's starting to get the point right here. And then you can even turn off the texture if you like. So once you like, uh, once you like what what you have as a brush you'll go here and create new brush preset and that will actually save all the presets right here and if you don't do that you will just have this shape of brush without any of this stuff or, or that triangle brush i um, hope this was helpful and in the next video i will show you how to create realistic uh, stamp texture brushes to put on top of these paintings Thanks for watching guys, please like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Have a great day.